Now the other portion which is Spark Streaming is also really really good. Okay, Spark Streaming because Spark is really fast and therefore Spark uh, has been able to people have been able to use spark for streaming and what does it mean by streaming the meaning of a streaming is that when a data is coming live from a location people are downloading it people are pushing it it's getting <coughs> so streaming doesn't always mean that we are watching a movie Streaming also means whenever you're downloading data, as in when we are able to download a record, we want to process that record. Okay, let let me take a case of what I had been doing earlier. So, whenever a user or a vendor is making a change in the data provided by them in on Amazon's product, so Amazon has got a lot of product. There are a lot of vendors. A lot of sellers so sellers keep on making these changes they change title they change uh, all kinds of they keep on making these modifications and all of these changes come in a central queue in a live as a live stream every millisecond that the changes are coming there are hundreds of uh, such changes are coming in a pipe that uh, and we have to consume it Okay, and based on these changes, what do we do? What we do is that we read one message by one message and then update various locations. Okay, so we have to update indexes, we have to update the photo, we have to optimize the photo. All of this pipeline keeps on happening, right? So, this sort of job is a stream processing. While on one end there is a producer and other end there is a consumer, okay, and all of them are have to work parallelly to actually be able to handle stream, and that's when the complexity starts when you want to do it parallelly, okay. Now, in Apache uh, Spark streaming, as I said, that there is a huge pipe. In, in in just one example i gave that pipe is kafka flume hdfs 0mq or maybe some other modes okay so on one end there is this these are the producers pipeline the data is coming in via these pipelines and on the other end spark can listen spark using spark streaming you can read the data from these sources okay these are the pipeline live data coming in you keep on listening to these pipelines and keep on processing it that is what is Apache, uh, the spark streaming okay and once you have finished with spark streaming you can store it anywhere you want all right now let's take another example of stream stream processing so input data came in okay and spark streaming is reading that data spark streaming Instead of handling it in a millisecond, you might like to accumulate it in a bigger window, bigger window of say few one hour. Okay, and th this exactly is similar to the framework I built for Amazon. The example which I gave in, I converted the changes which were coming from the user in in a in a five minutes fashion. Why? Because most of the changes that were coming from the user in that particular uh, say 10 minutes window were actually pertaining to the same product so a user so a seller comes in first it changes the title then it tweaks quickly the description and then again he goes back to the title and says let me put the dot and then keep does these 20 modifications in a minute's time right so so if you if we read it a window of uh, 10 minutes or 5 minutes we should be able to you know remove lot of duplicates from the from the input itself therefore you need to convert most of these streams into the batches okay into the batch you need to convert this into the batches okay 
and after that you can process it however you want converting it into batches takes a little bit of uh, uh, you know resources but actually it is easier okay so similarly spark streaming takes the input data converts that into batches and sends it sends it for the processing now and spark streaming basically provides you a class in java called dstream dstream is a continuous but discrete stream of data as you can see these are batches that batches is something which is being provided by dstreams okay so it has converted a continuous stream of data into the discrete stream okay so how does it do it how does it do it internally so utilizing the same rdd what it does is using uh, whenever we feed the data to d stream so we tell d streams hey read the data from this particular file okay now d streams starts reading that file it takes the it as people are writing to the file it's reading to from that file just imagine that or maybe g0 and q so d stream is reading the data from one of these queues or files and then internally for the data that came in between 0 to 1 second it is stored on the rdd and at a one one particular section called at time 1 time 2 time 3 so it has got one one seconds window okay and the stream beautifully provides you the functions such as reduce by key and the window size okay so that you can run the reduce function on a particular window rather than rather than all the nodes or all uh, another way okay so you can do a window wise wise operation that to a distributed fashion that is what spark streaming or d streamings provides okay. now take a simple we'll take a simple service from end to end we'll go across this So before starting, we will create a Java streaming context. Okay, we basically create a connection with the name Java Network Word Count, which basically has a window size of hundred uh, one second. Okay, this is duration is in milliseconds. So our uh, you know our example has a window duration of one second. After that, we open a socket stream onto this context, which connects to local host and this port. So that's where our lines are coming continuously from this host. Okay. Now we are basically trying to count the number of words word count per second. Okay. As the number of words are coming in, we have to count them. And count them parallelly. Okay. Now that is this is a simple example of running the streaming. Okay. Now here we got lines. Okay. Even though it's a stream, it's presented to you. It's presented to you as a simple variable. Okay. Now all you need to do is lines dot flat map the map which we talked about earlier. We only converted into uh, basically we converted into one word per line. Okay, that's what it. We basically we had split it by space here. That's all. We have split it by space. Okay. Now once we have this list of words, all we need to do is we we need to form a pair of word and numeric one just like we did earlier and that we did using here we did using map function so our map function basically converted 
each word into word comma one and after that we can simply call reduce by key remember so Hadoop's map reduces map is equivalent to flat map here and Hadoop map reduces reduce is equivalent to reduce by key here okay now once you do that you can reduce by key and how do we reduce by key by providing a function which does the reduce two two values summation at a time okay so now when we say print after this we'll be calling print so after reduce by key we'll get this word count word count is not in the rdd it's a normal variable and we can simply call print on that okay once you do that you will get basically the the word count of each second each second here and then print okay so that's how you do a word count example which in which the words are coming per uh, thousands of words are coming per second using using spark all right so that was that was something called uh, spark streaming okay so similar to apache stream uh, similar to the apache storm there are multiple frameworks and the more popular system for streaming job is called storm okay apache storm is fairly old and also does a lot of processing of real time data okay so a quick comparison between you know these two is apache storm can reliably process the streams of data so basically apache storm was invented at yahoo and a lot of people use it and it's quite powerful and quite uh, popular okay the gains the only difference between apache storm and spark streaming is the biggest difference out of all is in case you organ in case you are using spark already in case you are using spark already and you have already distributed systems probably you will not re require a storm okay but in case in case storm is in case you don't have any other systems and all you need to do is for time being just do this stream processing then storm is a good idea okay and there are lots of people other other exam other uh, you know benefits of storm is that it is basically being used by many people and these are the other comparisons between spark and storm where in case of a storm it is recorded at a time and spark as we saw we form the mini batches on the time sec times the latency the return at the time in which it returns is sub second while spark is slower fault tolerant at least once maybe duplicates so what we are trying to do here is trying to compare storm and spark and we realize that more fine grained more fine grained stream processing is still done by storm okay in case you do not require that precision like precision of sub second or and you you, you are okay with little slower process then you can go for spark streaming in case you are de you demand a really really high throughput and the response time of less than a second then you should go for storm okay so when you are your job involves pure pure streaming then you should go with the storm in case streaming is not your critical part then using spark streaming is also good